All right, full disclosure here, so you know exactly where I'm coming from. I stand before you fully supportive of the idea of gay marriage. Absolutely, 100%. But then again, why shouldn't I be? I have tastes in music that some would consider to be a little out there. And along with that, fashion, movies, and other things. The thing is, I'm dialed into enough frequencies that would take a very sympathetic view. And besides that, I find the arguments, all the arguments against it, simply don't hold up. Alright, the first argument that somehow gay marriage threatens straight marriage and thus the entire moral fiber of our society, well, the stupidity of that whole statement on all levels just speaks for itself. And then the other argument that no society has ever sanctioned it before is frankly just yet one more reason why we should. It is, in fact, my support for you that leads me to say this to you right now. You need to shut the hell up. I mean, no, seriously. You, you really do. Because you know that most people are pulling for you. You know that it's going your way. And in, it's going to continue to keep going your way. But when you push it like this, that's what's making people recoil. Gay is not the new black, and you're not being discriminated against. And frankly, when you take a posture like that, you insult a whole entire race of African Americans in this country who really were discriminated against. I don't seem to recall anybody ever being denied housing or employment or service in a public establishment because of their alternative orientation, okay? You're insulting an entire race of people who were subjected to those very things and much worse for a very long time and you minimize yourself at the same time. And besides that, you don't even need to go there anyway. You're actually a lot cooler than I am. Have you seen a movie in the last 20 years or so? You're now a central character. You're usually the gay male best friend to the leading lady. And you know what? You're sharper than me. You dress better. You're cooler. You're smarter. You're more tolerant and open-minded. You're better looking. You're healthier. You're more, I don't know, aware, in touch with your feelings or what have you. And you're just superior on all levels to, well, me. <laughs> you know, kind of the average rank-and-file American, and you're the guy that the leading lady really wishes she was with, rather than the poor dumb schlub she saddled with. And you know what? That's okay. I'm good with all of that. I'm perfectly happy to cede to you all of that ground. That's fine. All I ask of you is this. Once you've taken all of that ground for yourself, please, please, don't try to turn it all the way back around on me yet again and claim that you're the victim. Come on. You, you gotta just stop. Well, that's just too much. It's embarrassing, okay? More than anything else. It's just embarrassing, and it's just so transparent. That's all I have. So just shut the hell up. Get over it. You're gay in America, and you rule. You just need to shut up and own it. Now get out of here, and come back into me when you have a real problem, okay? Thanks. <laughs> this has been Steve. I'll see everybody next time. Out.